Esta es Vegas Tunes Radio, tu, 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 tu Latina USA. Hola a todos, soy Katy Miemosquera y me encuentro en el Bellagio muy bien acompañada. Estamos en las celebraciones de Latin Grammy Week y bueno, como pueden ver, estoy muy bien acompañada de Breakfast in Vegas. So, please, guys, introduce yourselves, starting from this side. I'm DJ Yanni. Curtis Austin. And we're Breakfast in Vegas. Woo! <laughs> so excited. The energy here is amazing. We are in the Presidential Suite. 33rd floor. It's a great turnout here, celebrating and broadcasting. Yeah, yeah and was crazy. <laughs> so glad that you guys are feeling it, having fun in Vegas. But the reason why you guys are here is to promote your new album, yes. which is Tropical. Tropical. So please, díganos más sobre el álbum, de qué se trata, cómo fue el proceso, y de dónde salió el nombre tan chévere. So, Tropical is basically trap and tropical, two words put together, because that's kind of like the essence of our style of music. Like urban, hip hop, mixed with tropical, Latin vibes, even some European, Afro music, and even even some like Brazilian style music. So, that, and, and we kind of, you know, get inspired by different sounds and different cultures around the world and processes. We record everything in Los Angeles. And you know we, we DJ as well, so we we try a lot of different um, clubs out, you know, and test it out too. On our DJ. No, that's phenomenal. Definitely, I could hear the fusion. It sounds amazing. But I just want to know, what do you want the listeners to take from listening to your album? Um, I would like them to know that like we do music for the what is it, the 1.5 generation? We call that. Uh, the generation that they're either raised in another country or, or their parents are raised in another country and they come to the States and so they're, they're bilingual mm -hmm. and so they're not just listening to one type of music and I feel like culturally everything is changing so we, we're doing it for the new generation of music listeners right. you know for everybody can kind of like enjoy the music no matter if, no matter what you know what I mean that's our, that's our vibe yes. that's great and I heard that you guys were talking that you guys come from LA and I found it a little weird but you guys are breakfast in Vegas so right. tell us a little bit about what's that about Everybody where did it come always, from always <laughs> ask us that. Um, I mean Kurt we're, we're actually from the East Coast but he's from Connecticut I'm from New York and he had the the name first and, and we always tell the story it was actually called breakfast in Paris first that was the mm. first idea okay but we changed it and Vegas kind of like the, the, the had the really good ring to it and for us Vegas is a melting pot I mean we're here you know this is the best of the best of everything around the world from music fashion food the top of every elite wow, yeah. you know club or brand is here it's a melting pot and, and musically we want to basically portray that you know like it's it's our music is, is basically Basically, can go from different genres, and it's like the best of the best of every genre of music. It's inspired from that, and you know, you know, anything that happens after midnight is technically breakfast in Vegas. You know, so whether it's a drink or a crazy night or some, you know, something you can't remember, it's usually because you have breakfast in Vegas. Super chévere el cambio ahí que hicieron del nombre. Bueno, I just want to know um, where can we listen to your guys' music because I, all the everybody that's watching has to get their hands on this album, listen to it, and tell us the platforms, how we can find you guys. Essentially, we're on we're on Apple Music, obviously. We're getting support. We're on the Trap Kings and uh, the Trap Kings playlist up there. Also, we're on Spotify. Uh, and obviously YouTube and all the other platforms, YouTube, Amazon, Google, Tango, yeah. Everything, and it's breakfast, the letter N. Vegas, yes. <laughs> all right, and como mencionamos, estamos en la semana de los Latin Grammys, so what is something that you guys are most looking forward? What's a performance? Someone that you guys want to meet? Um, I would say I'm looking to, you already know, I'm looking to meet uh, two people, Fuego. I thought you were going to say You already know, I fuck with Fuego. That's like, I'm a, like, I'm a Fuego fan. And we met, last time we met J Balvin, we met um, Daddy Yankee, we were, because we did the uh, Spotify uh, Grammy party last year. So we met a lot of people, but there's certain people I really fuck with. Um, and it's uh, Fuego, and I was, yes. And then, um, 
who, who we listening to the other day? It's like a new artist. I, I like supporting new artists. Uh, Tode. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's like there's, there's this new artist album looking to me. That's pretty That's much great. It. And we were talking earlier off camera, so you guys have worked with big artists yes. as well as Bad Bunny. Yeah, we have a record with Bad Bunny and Tory Lanez. It's called Give It Up, yeah, featuring Messia as well. Um, that's that. That was pretty much our first song that put us on the map. It kind of we had really good support with Apple Music and Spotify, and kind of gave us. And that we we want to take the credit for like starting that whole crossover <laughs> Spanish English movement because more, nobody was doing it. No, it's either they were scared yeah. to do it, but now now look at it. Bad Bunny has a record with Drake right now. So where one. years ago that would have never happened. So we're, we love the, the fact that. The, the culture is being pushed and, and the evolution of, of, of Latino music is, is definitely, it's growing. So we love being a part of it and we love being inspired yeah. and, and kind of creating Yeah, like and when we first started doing it, just to make a note of it, like, you have to understand, we first put a Bad Bunny on Tory Lanez record. Tory Lanez called us, they were like, take it off. Yeah, we don't know like, who this mother... They were, like, they were like, who's this bad Bugs Bunny guy? You know, so they was like... Sorry. And then they called us back like 10 minutes later. They were like, can we do another record with him? And then now he got a record with Asuna. No, he's so he's like, we kind of helped yeah, bridge no. that gap as well. So it was dope. No, and I think it's very amazing, especially now in the times in this country and how there's so many Latinos just fusing together, come together with music. Well, and to wrap everything up, para ya cerrar esta entrevista que ha sido tan divertida, I feel like we've discussed so many great topics. Please tell us why everyone watching should listen to your album, Tropical. Because we're pushing the boundaries. Pushing the boundaries. Yes. And, and using the evolution of the, of the Latin music, the culture, and just experiment, man, just for the love of the art and, and the art form, you know? We don't like to, you know, do what everybody else is doing. You know, we get inspired by a lot of the music that's out right now, but we're also inspired by the older generation and different cultures of music, so our music is definitely diverse, and you're definitely gonna, you're definitely gonna dance to it. I can agree with that, I can testify. Bueno, muchísima gracias por estar en aquí. Ha sido un placer. Thank you so much. Y bueno, seguimos con más. Well, there you guys have it, this special coverage coming for you all from the Bellagio during the hectic week of the Latin Grammys. We are celebrating because just in a few hours, it's the big day. And as you guys saw, our special coverage of Breakfast in Vegas as they debut their new album, Trapical. Kathy Mia Mosquera reporting for VegasTunesRadio.com. <laughs> Vegas Tunes Radio, tu, tu, tu Latina USA.